Good morning, Mustangs. Miss Jones here. And I have a book that I want to read with all of you. And this is called Donovan's Word Jar. And it says, Abracadabra, words are magical. And the author is Mona Lisa DeGross. And I really love this book because I think words are magical too. Because words let us read and words let us write and words let us speak and communicate. So let's take a look at our book, Donovan's Word Jar. Illustrations by Cheryl Hanna. Remember, the illustrator draws the pictures. The first chapter is called Donovan. Hmm, I wonder if Donovan is this little boy here on the front cover. Donovan Allen enjoyed being like all the other kids in Mrs. Panky's third grade class. He liked wearing a yellow shirt with brown pants and a button-down sweater, just like the other boys. When the bell rang at the end of the day, he grabbed his book bag and ran for the door, just like the other kids. And just like the other kids, on the days when his mom packed raw broccoli and cauliflower in his lunch, Donovan forgot to eat them. He must not like broccoli and cauliflower. Like most of the kids in his class, Donovan liked to collect things. A few kids in his class collected rocks, insects, or stamps. Some other kids collected coins, comics, or baseball cards. Donovan's best friend, Eric, collected marbles. Oh, I have a connection. I actually, when I was a kid, I collected marbles too. Eric always was always playing marbles, trading marbles, reading about marbles, and searching for the perfect marble. He kept his marble collection in a leather pouch with his name stamped on it. Donovan's buddy Pooh collected buttons of all shapes and sizes. Pooh kept his button collection pinned to a corkboard in his bedroom. He collected buttons from almost every event he attended. He had buttons from movies, baseball games, and amusement parks. Pooh's favorite button was the one his father had made him for his birthday. On it was a picture of Pooh, and written around it were the words, Pooh for President. Pooh kept that button pinned to his book bag. But when it came to collecting things, Donovan Allen, Allen was different. He had a collection like no one else he knew. Donovan collected words. Yes, words. So there you see the illustration. Looks like those are Donovan's friends that he was talking about. And then here Donovan is and he has some little pieces of paper. Maybe those, oh, look at this. He wrote different words on the piece of paper. So that's the end of chapter one, Mustangs. So we will come back tomorrow with chapter two of Donovan's Word Jar. All right, have a great day.